If you are looking for an amazing island getaway in Greece, you can't go wrong with any of these five islands. Whether you love water activities, amazing beaches and sunsets, or get excited about exploring history, these five islands in Greece are for you. So welcome to Dylan's Travels, where we talk about exploring the most attractive islands in many different countries. But today, we are going to be taking a look at Greece, because this this country stands at the top of the list. So in this video, we will cover the top five islands to travel to in Greece. Each island has something unique and extraordinary about them. These islands have everything from historical ruins and stunning coastal views to crystal clear waters and delicious food. So without further ado, let's begin the video and get ready for some unforgettable memories. So coming in at number one, we have Milos. Now Milos is one of the best volcanic Greek islands and is definitely worth a visit. It has a rich history dating back to the Bronze Age and is home to some incredible archeological sites. There are also over 40 beautiful beaches to relax on and the crystal clear waters are perfect for swimming and snorkeling. On your trip to Milos, see the Venus de Milo. The most attractive spot in Milos remains crowded almost throughout the year. In terms of beaches, we recommend the beautiful Sarakiniko beach, which is a must see. It is also known as the moon beach, but it doesn't mean it is the only beach you should visit in Milos because besides that, you can spend time on the Pravatas beach, the Tisiragado Beach or the Firapilaka Beach, which are also very nice. Boating tours are not bad if you want to spend time on the water. In Milos, you can take boat tours from Adamus Village to the nearby islets of Glaranossi and Kimolos or the famous Kleftko Rock formations. You can also join a catamaran tour, which is a great way to explore the coastline. Although it is an island, the villages here are also worth visiting. The Kilma village here in Milos is one of the most photographed villages in Greece. No one will regret spending time in the village with its traditional buildings and colorful doors. You can also visit the Tripoliti village, Mandrakia village or Plaka village. Overall, Milos is a stunning island with plenty to see and do. We'd love this island and guarantee it will not disappoint you Coming in at number two on the list of the best islands to travel to in Greece is Santorini. Now after Milos, Santorini is another famous island in Greece for a number of reasons. This island is home to the stunning cliffside towns, incredible beaches and some of the best sunsets in the world. You can engage in plenty of activities to keep busy from hiking and biking to wine tasting and exploring many archaeological sites. One of the great things to do in Santorini is to watch the sunset from Oia town. You won't believe it, but tourists from different parts of the world visit Oia town to enjoy this eye-catching scenery of sunset. The views are incredible and it's a great spot to relax after a busy day of exploring. But a word of personal advice, get there early and make sure you get a good spot for the sunset because it can get very busy. Other than this, you should visit the archeological site of Akrotri and go for a swim at one of the many beaches. You can take a boat tour around the Caladira or go hiking or biking in the countryside. There are also plenty of villages to explore, each with its own unique charm. Some of our favorite include Fira Town, Imiro Vigli Village and Pyrigos Village. And don't forget to try local food. The fresh seafood is a must try. Besides this, you can enjoy other local dishes that you may not have tried before. Coming in at number three, we have Crete. Now, Crete is the second largest island in Greece. This island has a rich history and culture and is home to some incredible archeological sites again. There are plenty of beaches to enjoy with your loved ones. Indeed, the nearby shops provide mouth-watering food, which is surely worth trying. Because Crete is a large island, there are plenty of attractions and things to do on this elegant island. Some of the highlights include visiting the site of Gnosos, exploring the capital city of Heraklion, and swimming in crystal clear waters. One of our favorite spots in Crete is the old Ventian Harbor. It is home to a variety of shops, restaurants, and cafes, as well as a number of historical landmarks. Moreover, visitors can enjoy stunning views of the Mediterranean Sea and the nearby island of Santorini and Mykonos in the distance. Old Venetian Harbour is also a great place to enjoy a variety of water sports such as swimming and sailing and windsurfing. Things don't end here because there are plenty of beaches in Crete to relax on. Some popular ones include Elefonesi Beach, Balos Beach and Pravili Beach. And if you're looking for a more active vacation, there are plenty of hiking and biking trails to explore. So don't think much and plan your next trip to Crete for endless joy and adventure. You can also easily get the coach from Crete 
one side in the north, let's say Heraklion, down to the opposite side in the south where you can explore more stunning beaches, Roman ruins, caves and many other delights. The big island gives back a lot. Coming in at number four we have Mykonos. Mykonos is known for its stunning beaches, vibrant nightlife and traditional architecture. Plenty of activities to keep you busy from windsurfing and sailing to exploring the many archaeological sites. If you ever visit Greece and look for an awesome island other than Milos and Santorini, Mykonos is perfect for you. In Mykonos, we highly recommend little, visiting the Little Venice Quarter. It is a beautiful and unique area of this beautiful island. The quarter gets its name from the Venetian architecture prevalent in the area, with its winding alleyways and picturesque whitewashed buildings. Little Venice Quarter is also home to some of the best restaurants and bars on the island, making it a wonderful place to enjoy a meal or a drink while watching the sunset over the Aegean Sea. In addition to its restaurants and bars, Little Venice Quarter is also home to several shops and galleries, making it the ideal place to find souvenirs or handmade gifts. Exploring the Pangaea Paraportiana in Mykonos will also not disappoint you. The church is built into the side of a hill and its white walls and blue domes are familiar sight to visitors of the island. The church is a complex of five separate churches that were built at different times. The oldest church dates back to the 14th century while the newest was built in 1930s. It is a popular destination for pilgrims and tourists alike and its beauty has inspired artists and photographers worldwide. Besides these two spots, you can visit Delos's attractive site or swim at one of the many beaches. If you do want to do a little adventurous things, you can take a boat tour around the island or go hiking or biking in the countryside. Don't forget to try the amazing local food and there is also many classic, iconic tourist attractions such as the windmills of Mykonos. But do be prepared to pay a lot of money for any beach clubs and, you know, it is, it's an expensive island. Coming in at number five, we have Rhodes. Rhodes is the last but another perfect place to go relaxing for a vacation in Greece. The island is home to beautiful beaches, stunning scenery, and plenty of activities to keep you busy. Rhodes is home to amazing beaches, including Lindos Beach, Calithea Beach, and Anthony Quinn Bay. If you ask about our favorite spot to visit in Rhodes, we all recommend Tassambika Beach. Its sparkling white sand and clear blue sky water make it a perfect place to relax and enjoy the Mediterranean sun. There are plenty of beach umbrellas and sun lounges for visitors to use, several restaurants and cafes nearby if you need to take a break from the heat. Tasambika Beach is also great for swimming, snorkeling and windsurfing. There are lifeguards on duty during summer so you can safely enjoy the beach without any danger. If you are looking for a beautiful sandy beach to relax on during your summer in Rhodes, Tasambika Beach is definitely worth visiting. In addition to its beaches and activities, Rose is also home to some restaurants and bars where you can enjoy delicious food, making it the perfect place to have a meal or drink while catching up with the friends you may have gone on holiday with over a beautiful sunset in the Aegean Sea. Rose is also known for shops and galleries, making it the ideal place to find souvenirs and handmade gifts. All these attractions make Rhodes one of the best islands to visit in Greece. So these were the top five best islands to visit in Greece. If you did enjoy this video, please do leave a like, subscribe down below and let us know if you agree with our list. Whether you are interested in water activities or love exploring history, these islands will not disappoint you. We hope you guys enjoyed the video and found it informative and we hope to see you in the next one. Till then, thank you.